Hey guys, this is Matt Kaur from ControlPaint.com, and today let's paint a glass marble. And I've chosen this subject matter because it is not as tricky as it seems. You look at this and you think, oh, it's got all this reflection happening, it's little details on the surface. Don't worry about all that. This marble, like any subject matter, can be approached much more easily if we squint our eyes and think of it in simple terms first. And only then, once it's sort of blocked in correctly, do we worry about the details? So we'll do this in two videos. Today we are going to start with the block in, and then in the next video we are going to do the surface and details. So here in my Photoshop document, I'm not even going to start with lines. This is a circle. It's about as simple as it gets. So first I'm just going to quickly with the airbrush block in the background. And I want a little more fade than the reference has, just so I can sort of have a sense of depth. So I'll have it brighter in the foreground, a little darker in the background. And now I need to create my marble. Now, since the marble is going to have a number of different layers, I'm going to start with a marquee, get my circle where I want it to be. And I'm going to use this to create a group layer mask. So with this selection made, I will create a new group, apply that as a layer mask. And so now any painting I do inside of this group is going to stay inside the lines. So if I want to paint in the base color of my marble here, I can paint as big strokes as I want and it'll stay inside of that circle. So now I'm going to step outside of that group for a second here, and I'm going to block in the shape of our shadow. So here, since I'm using independent layers, what I like to call temp layers, I can move things around and I can refine that shape. So here I'm switching to my eraser tool and sort of softening the edge. And then I can switch back to my brush tool and add a little more pigment, sort of back and forth until I feel like it's the right shape. Now, if you look at the reference, you'll see there's a bit of refracted green light popping through. So I'm just gonna block that in. I'm not gonna get too picky about it right now, but it is a big visible shape. So I wanna include that in my block in. Okay, that's pretty good. Now I'll go back inside of my marble group. I'll make a new layer. And what I wanna do is break this down into sort of basic visible shapes. Forget the details, just think of large visible shapes. And there's really three big ones. There's the basic color, which I already have in here. And then there's the darker reflection. So to get that shape, this time I'm gonna use a lasso. So here I'm just going to kind of draw my pretty simplified version of that shape. And I'll use the paint bucket to fill it in. So I'll select the color I have here and probably darken it a little bit. Okay. All right, so this is its own layer. I can move it around. I like to use the warp tool to refine my shape just a little bit sometimes. Sort of squeeze that in near the edges. Okay, now I will make one final layer that's gonna be my glossy reflection. So for that, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit here. And I'm not gonna use any fancy selection techniques, I'm just gonna paint it in. And then using the eraser tool, I'm gonna refine that shape just a little bit. Now at this point, we've got a finished block in. Once again, the way I painted it started with using on-screen mixing with the brush tool and the alt key to block in the background. And then I needed to keep the marble separate, which I did through a layer group that had a layer mask on it. And then I blocked in the major visible shapes by using individual layers, which I was able to transform, warp, and generally push around the document until everything was looking correct. Now, if any of these techniques are new to you and you wanna learn a little bit more about them, make sure to follow the links at the bottom of the post, and I have videos that explain each of them in more depth. So stick around for the next video in which we will refine this and add those surface details. 
Thanks for coming to the site, guys.